So hello and welcome back to the channel. Uh, this will be a short one, I hope. But uh, recently uh, I was asked in the comments, uh, there was this comment by Torla Friedrich. I hope I, I spelled that one correctly. Uh, about the pin input, a grid, and uh, one of the previous series that I've done. Um, I have two questions. How can I automatically set the focus to the first input field? How can validation take place when the last pin number has been entered uh, without the validate button? Well, my friend, today is the day for your answers. So, as you may remember, uh, let me just uh, shift that here, probably. Yeah, as you remember, we did this uh, pin input. Oops, sorry. And you can provide some uh, pin here and then validate it. Yeah, and it is abstracted. Everything is looking well. So let's start by um, adding the starting focus for the first field. So we go into pin input grid. And here we have the RI that holds the reference to the uh, HTML input elements, the array of them. So basically what we can do is to use use effect and uh, do this on the mount and we will call change pin focus and give it the first index being the zero index. Let's see how this works. Okay, I can see that this is focus, let's reload. Okay, again, if I reload this on the very start, the pin uh, is focused with the first field, right? This is not perfect, but we'll fix this probably after each and single pin validation, uh, we'd like to, um, we'd like to set the focus back to the start. But let's for now handle the second problem, uh, which is um, the automatic validation. After everything is, um, is filled up. So uh, you would think that the good place to do so is in here on pin change function right because we can detect whether the uh, pin is uh, fully completed meaning it has four values and if so provide the validation but there will be a slight problem here because here we have two values the new pin and the pin which we have in state and since the state is the common source of truth, like the only, should be the only source of truth when it comes to our data, we should use that value to validate this. But let's compare two values here. And this is going to be pin and the new pin, right? And as you can see here, I'm doing this after calling the uh, set state, set pin. So let's check that. Bump it up. One, two, three, four. And let's check, let's check those arrays. As you can see, our pin, which I would like to use for the validation, is out of sync with the new pin. Because setting the state in React is an asynchronous operation. Meaning that in this line, this pin isn't yet updated, even though we have called set pin right here. Okay, so what we can do instead is use the effect that will uh, look for the changes uh, in the pin. So let's do below use effect, and this effect should run every time you change the pin. Okay, so 
that's that. Um, and let's just log pin here. Let's call it pin after the state change. That's a long name, but it's all right. Okay. And let's try that. So here you can see that the pin is empty, but here pin after the state change has a proper value, meaning this is the place where we should trigger our validation. And it's rather easy, really. Oh, well, I shouldn't say so about the program itself, but I will create a function here called called check pin. It's going to be check pin. It's going to be async function. And what we have to do here is to check whether um, the array has all of its slots filled. And we have four. So the easiest way to do this is to just check whether the pin array includes undefined value. If not, we should call validate pin. Okay, so let's try that. It has a missing dependency and we'll handle that, handle that in a second. But let me just reload and I will one, two, three, four. Invalid pin, okay. Let's do six, 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 six. Okay, this this looks good, but we can do a little bit better. So uh, first things first, uh, we should add a validate pin here, but then this is right now recreated. Uh, Excuse me for being assigned, okay. This is now recreated on every render. We can prevent that by wrapping it with use call back. Use call back. Okay. Provide function here and dependency here, and the dependency is the in. And now all dependencies are satisfied. This use effect depends on the pin and validate pin. Okay. And then validate pin also depends on the pin. And this is changing, well, whenever we decide to update the state. So that's great. Uh, but is it perfect? Actually, not really because um, validation is asynchronous and there's just uh, should be okay. This should be gone. The validation is asynchronous, and there might be this strange case when I type the pin to validate, and before it's validated, I update it again. Okay, and well, we might leave it as it is, but it, we might do it a little bit better. I can add another state here. And actually, well, yeah, okay. We can do this with a state. So let's do is validating and set is validating. Use state and it's starting as a false. I'm not going to do this, but just to mention, if you have a state where you can clearly see that the values are interconnected, and here they are, like the validation result, the validation message, the validating the validating state. You should probably go for the use uh, of the reducer hook in here. But you can figure it out on your own, I believe. So here I'm going to use set is validating to false because we might have validated before and I'm going to do finally finally here and set is validating to true and then I'm going to use is validating here 
just to do a very simple thing. which is going to be disabling of all of the inputs. So disabled, validating. And now we shouldn't be able to edit the pin values while there's a validation ongoing. So let's see. Okay, this is still working. Um, maybe I did something wrong. Let's see. Oh, no. No, 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 no. This should be true, of course, and that should be false. That's the issue. Okay. Try this again. Yeah, now it's disabled. But the problem is, after we change the... Um, after we change the... Uh, validation value is validating value there's no focus you can bring that into the first place to the first slot of our pin just by adding is validating here as a dependency okay so let's try that again one two three four we can't actually edit and now we can Validate. What we could do also is to clear the um, clear the values after the the uh, validation. So let's see. This should be here. Uh, if there's an error, right? We are uh, we can set the reset the array and set pin to be new array pin length that should make sense okay let's try this again one two three four it should be incorrect it should be empty and the focus is back into the first place so that's it uh, uh mr friedrich i hope that helps a little bit and that's what you wanted if so give it a like subscribe maybe comment something like that and i'll see you in the next one goodbye